lads, welcome back to yet another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what is inside my cricket bag. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. As soon as you have, like, subscribe, and left a cheeky comment down below. But anyway, let's go. First up, let's talk about the bag. We've got the Buffalo Cricket Duffel Bag. I'm very proud to be part of the Buffalo Herd, and they supply me with some of the best cricket gear out there. Their website will be linked down below, as well as their social medias, which I definitely recommend you check out, as they do produce some very high quality content. The attention to detail on this bag is very professional, as we can see through the embroidery on the logos. A very classy touch. As well as this, the comfort is incredible. As we can see on the back, we've got some deep mesh padding, which makes for a very, very comfortable carry. Now let's get straight into the bag. So this front pocket down here is a little tunnel for spikes. Now the spikes in question are the Pay to V cricket shoes. I've been using these for a couple of seasons, and as a wicketkeeper batsman, I couldn't ask for anything better. They're very comfortable, very hard wearing, and overall, a solid bit of footwear. Do comment down below what cricket gear you use yourself, as I'm very curious to know. Moving on to this side pocket down here, we have got some brand new Buffalo wicketkeeping gloves. I love the aesthetics of the Buffalo gear, it's very very minimalist, and overall just looks very very good, in my opinion. And for the inners, we've got the Grey Nichols Legend Keeping Inners, a very good bit of kit, and I would highly recommend them for any wicketkeeper. Moving on to the next side pocket, we've got a couple of cricket balls that have been freshly stolen from the nets. There is not a chance that I bought these myself, but they do the job. Now let's get straight into the main section. Starting off with the pads, we've got some Buffalo Cricket batting pads, as per usual. This is such a good real batting pad, and it just screams high end. We've got polyester padded straps for a very comfortable batting experience. A lovely three-piece mesh shin bolster to provide some excellent ventilation and airflow throughout the pad. And I do love the traditional cane design, which provides some excellent wrap. And most importantly, it means the protection is absolutely sublime. Furthermore, we also have some Buffalo wicketkeeping pads. Similar aesthetics to the rest of the Buffalo gear, with some nice polyester padded straps yet again. And crucially, they are nice and light, which is very important as a wicketkeeper. As you can be wearing these pads for 40, 50 overs at a time, but as a batsman, you could potentially be only using your gear for one ball, which often seems to be the case with myself. So investing in some high quality wicketkeeping gear is a must, as you could potentially be using these for thousands of overs per season. Batting gloves, buffalo cricket, as per usual. I'm a big fan of the rectangular split, as opposed to a sausage finger or V-split. I love the flexibility they have to offer, and overall, just a nice, clean, aesthetically pleasing bit of kit. For thigh pads, we played it nice and safe, and going for the Aero P2 strippers, and you just can't go wrong with these ones, boys, can you? For helmets, you'd be surprised to know I actually have two helmets. A batting helmet, and a wicketkeeping helmet. The keeping helmet, first and foremost, is significantly lighter, and the back of the helmet has been scooped out to help you tilt your head back to take high catches. I've used this helmet for a good five to six years, and I've only got positive things to say about it. And my batting helmet is a Shrey Masterclass Air Titanium. I've used it for about four or five seasons, and it's served me very well. I feel very safe wearing this helmet. And finally, what you've all been waiting for, the bats. First up we have, in this beautiful bat cover, the Buffalo Bubbleina. The ping of this bat is unbelievable. Let me show you a quick example. The weight is only 2 inches, so it's nice and light, and the profile is nice and full, with big, thick, meaty edges. And overall, it's just an absolutely good bit of willow. But don't worry boys, I've got a few other bats as well. Here they are. Uh, first up, this bat's from India, it's an SG. I've had this for about 8 years, but it's not too bad. Next up, another one from India, we've got the bass. I love this bass. It was under £100 as well, but it served me so well. I used this one for a few years, and the performance is unbelievable. I've also got this bat from a company called Pulse Cricket, based in Leicestershire. This was the first bat that I ever got sent, and it is actually a really, really nice bat. It weighs about 2.9, picks up really well, and I actually got my high score with this bat. And the match day vlog for that game is on the channel, so make sure you do check it out. And finally, we've got this little beauty. It's an SG fielding bat, catching bat, something like that. It's basically got a massive sheet of rubber attached to the face to make the ball ping 10 times more than it usually would. And yeah, I think it's just a cool bit of kit to have, because why the hell not? And finally, what is beginning to become my favourite bit of kit, the pink sidearm. I used to have a white one, but this one just provides that extra little bit of pace. If you check out the net session vlogs on my channel, you can see it in action. And it allows me to give my mates some very good practice in the net, so I definitely recommend getting one. Well boys, that brings that kit bag review to an end. I do hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, please comment, gun player. And make sure you have likes and subscribe for plenty of more cricket content in the future. See you later. Listen.